What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're wondering what a good nutritional strategy is to be able to cope with stress and not only cope with it, but decrease stress levels, in this video we're gonna talk exactly how you can set that up for yourself. So as we dive into how to set up your nutritional strategy in order to cope with stress, but not just cope, but decrease your stress levels, there's three things I wanna talk about. The first two are gonna be tips that you can implement so that you know exactly how to set up your nutrition and to decrease those stress levels. And the third one I'm gonna give you is actually separate from nutrition, but I think I'd be remiss if I didn't explain this. So first two are nutritional base. Number three is just a little bonus for you. Let's dive in. All right, the first thing that you need to do if you wanted to decrease your stress levels is get testing done. This is the biggest mistake people make when it comes to their health, is they try to follow strategies that are not built for them. You know, people that try to lose weight, they, oh, I'm gonna do keto, or I'm gonna do carnivore. It's a really recurring thing as they try to just adopt these overall supermarketed strategies thinking that it's gonna work for them, but it wasn't designed for them, and so it never becomes sustainable like they want it to be. This is the exact same thing if you're trying to decrease your stress levels, is you need something specifically tailored for you, and what that takes is you getting testing done for your body. Before I continue to talk about testing, I need you to understand the importance of this. Stress is wreaks havoc on your body. If you are continually stressed, you're continually overwhelmed with what's called cortisol stress hormone. So that cortisol stress hormone can not only cause you to gain weight because it wreaks havoc on your hormones, but it can also cause other diseases, cardiovascular disease, mental health disease, eating disorders. If you are constantly living with the stress, it's gonna wreak havoc on every single area of your health. You're not gonna be able to perform your best. You're not gonna be able to feel your best. You're not gonna be around for long enough to be for your family and be there for your business if you're reeked with stress. And so when I talk about getting testing done, I need you to understand that you have to understand what your body needs and what's going on. Otherwise, you're gonna keep ignoring this fact. And this is something that we see from a lot of our clients is, I don't feel stressed, like I'm fine. Well, that's just because you've begun to live with this new normal of stress. Vulnerability moment, I got testing done and I found out that my cortisol stress was extremely high. The doctor said, uh, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm, I'm fine, fine, what are you talking about? about? Like, like, you're extremely stressed. Your cortisol's like twice what the, the, the numbers are supposed to be. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm fine. He's like, no, you're not. And so my guess is if you're an entrepreneur, executive, you're a busy person that just lives on high pressure and high stress situations is whether or not you feel it and know it, unless you get testing done, you're not gonna actually know if you're extremely stressed or not because you could be like me and you're like, I'm totally fine. My brain says I'm fine. But what's wild is your body doesn't respond the same way. You may be mentally strong like me, but your body wreaks havoc. And I actually got to the place where I was having anxiety attacks, not feeling stressed. And I couldn't understand it. The doctor's like, your cortisol's through the roof. We gotta start to fix some of this. And so when I say get testing done, it's not only so you can figure out how to fix the stress and we can set up your nutrition the proper way. It's also to figure out that maybe your stress is even worse than you thought and it's an awareness piece for you. So the first thing I would recommend to decrease stress levels and to cope with the stress that you have and to set up a nutritional strategy so that you can do that is get testing done. So you exactly know what your body needs and where you're at. All right, so the second thing that you need to do is once you get all this testing, once you understand not only if you're really stressed like me and you find out, oh man, man, maybe I am really stressed. The second thing you need to do is start to implement a strategy around that. This is what we call for our clients is protocol. You need a customized game plan or protocol based off your testing. And obviously you, know, you don't have to do that through us. There's tons of ways to get a game plan. It might just be you doing some research and figuring out what your body needs based off that data. But the second thing you need to do is start to implement strategies to decrease or to cope with that stress. There's a couple things I'm going to recommend for that. One is if you have nutrient deficiencies, which testing will help you understand is you need to start fixing some of those. If you have you know, vitamin B or vitamin D or iron deficiencies, you starting to eat specifically for that allows your body to function more optimally and then you'll be under less stress. But here's another piece to this is your gut health. Testing, once you get that done, will actually tell you how healthy your gut is. And your gut is a key piece to not only managing, but decreasing and controlling stress in your body. I found out this the other day, that actually 73% of your serotonin is actually produced in your gut. The thing that keeps you happy, and keeps you peaceful, and keeps you at ease, that chemical, is produced in your gut. And so if you're eating the wrong foods for your body, if you're eating things that cause stress on your gut, then you're gonna have a higher level of stress. And so once you've gotten this testing done and you start to eat specifically your body, 
something you really should dive in and focus on is your gut health. If you can start to eat the right foods and the right amount of foods to settle your gut and make it healthier, you're gonna feel a lot better on a daily basis. Not only because you're healthier, but you're also fueling your body properly. Something you may not know is there's a direct connection from your gut to your brain from a thing called the vagus nerve. People often will say the brain-gut connection, and you're like, I don't even know what that means. And you know, side note, if you're a guy watching this, like me, and you've heard about gut health, you've probably ignored it up to this point. You're like, I don't care. Like, girls, that's a girl thing. Digest and bloating, I don't really care. But if you're wanting to perform and feel your best, your brain and gut are connected. And so your energy levels, how focused you are, how mentally clear you are, all directly correlates from your gut. And so if you're trying to decrease stress, like we're talking about, the foods you eat, not just eating healthy, but specifically for your body, will directly correlate to that. And so once you've got that testing done, you need to create a specific nutritional strategy to not only start messing with some of the nutrient deficiencies you have, and by messing with it, I mean fixing it and helping it. But on top of that, you need to get very specific on things like gut health that will allow you to start shaping your body in a different way so that you can decrease that stress levels. The right foods into your body at the right time will start to produce a different amount and a different level of chemicals for you so that you can feel less stressed. So the last thing I wanna give you, and this third tip is something that's separate from nutrition, but I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you this, and it's on how you move your body. If you're moving your body enough, you can start to decrease those stress levels. Now, before I dive into that, I'm gonna do a whole separate training on this. So like and subscribe so that you can check out this training as it comes out here in the new future. But what you need to do is once you've gotten testing done and you understand, hey, here's my body, here's the data I need, what's causing this stress in my body, and you started to create a nutritional strategy to you know, eat properly, to fuel yourself properly, to fix some of those gut health issues, to fix those nutrient issues, the third thing you need to do is just to start to move more consistently. Plenty of scientific studies show that if you'll move your body consistently, it actually decreases both of the major stress hormones of adrenaline and cortisol. That over time, consistently moving and releasing that allows your body to relax and get in a, a really good rhythm. Cortisol actually functions on a rhythm as it, it spikes and decreases at certain times of the day. You want it to spike in the morning so it gets you awake and gets you moving. That's what it's designed for. And then you want it to relax at night so that you can de-stress and decompose, but most of the time people live on a roller coaster that doesn't really align with that. Why? Because they're not doing anything during the day to fit that cycle. And so I would encourage you to move your body more consistently. I could tell you thousands of other things to do of getting more sleep and re you know recovering more and other supplements, but really just you eating better and moving better are the biggest foundational pieces. And so we've talked about the nutrition, but again, I wanna really hammer home. If you move consistently, it will reshape your body chemistry and composition so that you feel better on a daily basis but also really practical thing is you just feel better like you sweating a little bit you working off some frustration and anger it actually just you can just naturally tell that you're de-stressing and so something that i've noticed is anytime that i'm stressed move my body a little bit it's almost like you're shaking off like taylor swift song shake off the stress you may laugh and think that's funny but it's the truth anytime you feel stressed if you'll just move your body a little bit, you'll notice that that stress starts to decrease. Why? Because your body responds to movements. Emotion follows motion. And so I would challenge you to start moving more consistently. Another really cool thing about tailoring your nutrition around decreasing stress levels is that you may be trying to lose weight or you wanna feel better and perform better, but you've been doing all the right things. If I've been eating consistently and I've been you know, following a macronutrient diet, I've been working out really hard, but you're not getting the results that you want, if you will do this process right and you will eat the foods that you need and move your body consistently in order to decrease your stress levels, it actually rapidly accelerates your results. Your stress, your cortisol, directly correlates to your metabolic function or how many calories you can burn on a daily basis. And something we find with our clients, especially the ones that have been consistent over time and are like, oh, I've been eating the right amount of calories, I've been doing exactly what I said, but I'm not quite getting the results I want, is sometimes we just send them on vacation. That might sound shocking. Like, what do you mean? Like you sit on vacation to lose weight. Oftentimes we find, because we work with entrepreneurs and executives, is they live such high strung, high stress life. And maybe this is for you is like, I feel like I'm eating the right things and I feel like I'm doing the right things for my body, but I, I can't seem to lose weight and I can't seem to get the energy levels I want. Something that might be really good for you is just to take a break, take a vacation. And so the best nutrition strategy I can give you 
is to take a break. Why? Because when you decrease those stress levels, just naturally of unplugging a little bit, taking a breath, you'll find that that's the best nutritional thing you can do. We have our clients that have been perfectly consistent, dialed in for months at a time and their progress starts to slow. When they go on vacation and they actually become a little less rigid with their diet, they become a little less consistent with their movement because of that unplugging and relaxing and not going crazy and shoving their face, but just you know, you know, taking a breath a little bit, they actually come back having lost a little weight. Why? Why? Because that strategy of decreasing your stress decreases the inflammation, it allows their body to reset and recover, and even though they weren't perfect on their diet during that time, they relaxed. And so the biggest encouragement I can give you on top of moving more and eating better is sometimes you just need to take a little break. And that break allows your body to actually function the way you need. Because like I said, your cortisol stress hormone directly correlates to how many calories you burn on a daily basis or your metabolic function. If you can decrease the cortisol, your metabolism actually inversely related increases and it burns more calories on a daily basis. So decrease stress, increase metabolism. So the best thing I can tell you nutritionally is just take a little break. So you may have been watching this and you love the information. You, you understand, hey, I need to get testing done so that I know how to set up my nutrition to decrease stress. And you've said, okay, I understand I've got to eat better to decrease my stress. I've got to move more. I've got to take some rest and recovery, but you don't know how to actually implement that. And so I, what I'd love to do is actually give you some practical next steps. And so what I've done is in the description below, I've in included a free ebook that's going to walk you through how to set up your nutrition, how to set up your workouts and how to actually get testing done so that you can get the results you want in your body, but even more, you can decrease the stress level so that you can feel and perform and be the best version of you. So if you want that free ebook, just go to the description below, download it. I don't need anything from you. I just want to be able to help and support you. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you on the next episode.